Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Welcome. Now we're into matrix multiplication, and I'm going to give you a few to try on your own. Here we go. All right, we're going to be looking at what happens when we take one matrix and multiply it by another. So we're looking for the product of two matrices. Now, the interesting thing is these do not have to have the same dimensions. Notice that this is a 2 by 3, and this is a 3 by 2. All right, now there are some things that have to match up, and here's what I mean. I'm going to show you with some colors here, and basically we just have to make sure that we get all the numbers to match up. Okay, now it's not a simple matter of just multiplying all the numbers together. Okay, there's a pattern to it, and let me show that to you. What I do is I look at the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix, and that tells me that I'm going to have two rows compared to two columns. So my answer product matrix is going to be 2 by 2. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our brackets here for our matrix. And we're going to have a 2 by 2. 2 going across and 2 going down. All right. So we come up with four different answers. So here's how that works. From the first matrix, we're going to take it one row at a time. In the second matrix, we're going to take it one column at a time. All right, so these numbers here in the first row get matched up with the numbers here in the first column. All right, now it's a matter of multiplying and adding. All right, now watch, and I think you'll get it. What we're going to do is take negative 2 times positive 2, and that's negative 4. We're going to take 4 times 3, and that's 12. Add it together. We're going to take 3 times negative 2, and that's negative 6. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of arithmetic here to get the very first element in our answer column. We're going to look at this first row again and compare it to the second column. So now it's negative 2 times negative 4, that's positive 8. And it's 4 times 6, which is 24. and 3 times 5, which is 15. We'll add all those up in just a minute. Now look at this row compared to that first column again. So 6 times 2, that'll be 12. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. And negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. That will give us our element right there. Lastly, we have this row compared to that column. All right, so we're going to do 6 times negative 4, negative 24. Negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18. And negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. up now negative 4 plus 12 is 8 take away 6 is 2 8 plus 24 plus 15 which would be 47 12 minus 9 is 3 plus 2 is 5 and negative 24 take away 18 take away 5 is negative 47 all right, so we're matching up the rows in this matrix with the columns in this matrix and doing a multiplication add operation. All right, a little bit complicated, but it just takes practice. Let's try two on your own. All right, now remember that in this problem set, you need to try this on a piece of paper and then continue listening and watching, and we'll see if you're right. 
Go ahead and try these two, numbers 9 and 10. All right, so we've got this first row and compared to this first column. All right, so we're going to do negative 4 times negative 1, which is 4, plus 5, negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25. So it would be 4 plus 25. That would be 29 right there. Next we have negative 4 times negative 2 which is 8 and negative 5 times 0 which is 0. Obviously that will be 8. Next one is 2 times negative 1 which is negative 2 3 times negative 5 which is positive 15. Add that up and that would be positive 13. Next we have 2 times negative 2 which is negative 4 and negative 3 times 0 which is 0. That would be negative 4 in that position right there you notice that we still have a third row here so we need to have another row of you know my answer and so therefore I need a three row by two column answer okay remember to how to figure out the dimensions of your answer so let's fill in this last row here All right, so we have 0 times negative 1 which is going to be negative 1 and negative 4 times negative 5 which is positive 20 And whoops, that should be a zero there, right? I hope you caught that. Next, zero times negative two, which is zero. And negative four times zero, which is zero. And therefore, that last element right there is zero. So here we go. That is my final answer. All right, let's look over at number 10, and let me describe how we do that. All right, matching up the first row here by the first column there. So negative 3 plus negative 10. Negative 3 plus negative 10. Negative 13. Now we have negative 15 plus 6. Negative 15 plus 6, which gives us negative 9 in that position. Here we have 6 plus 30. Yep, 36 right there. Then we have 6 times 5 is 30, and 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 30 minus 18. Yep, positive 12 goes right there. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. 3 plus negative 10. Or 3 minus 10. Guess what? Negative 7 goes right there. Final element in our answer, we have 3 times 5 is 15. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. 15 plus 6. All right. Now, if you have a colored highlighter for your homework assignments, it's not a bad idea to try to organize it with color, circling, little check marks, or whatever you have to do to keep track of it. But this is going to be a three row by a two column answer. All right, the next video is two more problems for you to try and practice your matrix multiplication. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.